Hey guys, uh, Javino back again with my uh, second half of my sixth episode of my Redstone for Dummies series. That was a mouthful. Um, first, I would like to start off with something I actually figured out from the first pig. Stop testing my stuff. Um, something I forgot from my first video. First half of this video, I guess I should say. Didn't actually intend on making this uh, second half, but I watched my first one and I'm like, wow, I definitely left out a lot of stuff, so... Not a lot of stuff, but um, I, I left out this. This is one thing I uh, definitely noticed. Um, you can actually modify the flow of water and lava with uh, redstone too. Um, cut me some slack, though. It's like three in the morning. So, in case you haven't, in case you wonder, I uh, record almost all my videos at like 2 or 3 in the morning. I really don't sleep, so... <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you got your water flowing here. What you need to do if you want to have a secondary water flow is you need to originally make that water flow because, here, let me just explain something first. Water, or lava for that matter, what it does is it'll take the shortest possible route to the ground. So what you need to do is you need to have your secondary route. It needs to start out being your longer than the original route so it won't take that route when you get rid of this block because if you have it really short it will actually start taking that route the second you get rid of that block so it needs to be longer originally but then after that you can shorten all you want it's just how it works so um, what you do if you want to change the water flow is you just give it power so as soon as you put a red tone torch by it it will update its water flow and go to the shortest flow so like that now it's going to screw up my stuff, so I'm going to not do that, but um, yeah, I just wanted to show you that. Now for the rest of this video, I'm just going to be showing you uh, cool use of, uses of these things I just taught you. Just combined together, some a little bit more complex than others, but yeah. First one here, hundreds of ways to open a door. So you can get the lever, just stays open as long as you want it to. You can get the button where it just like temporarily opens for a little bit. I don't know, whatever you want to use that for. And then you can have, this is my favorite one, just open the door when you get close to it. Wow, it screwed up all my mind stuff. Stupid, er, rails, stupid water. But uh, yeah, you can just do that. And you can just put it only on that side if you want an open only door, so you can't get back through. Ah. And then uh, over here, this is another fun one. Uh, you can combine a uh, pressure plate and a dispenser filled with arrows or whatever you want, just pressure plate and dispenser, I guess, period. Step on it, do whatever you want. I put air. I like putting arrows because, yeah, you step on it, it shoots you. Another thing is, if a uh, animal sh steps on this, it actually shoots it. it won't, I don't think it'll instinctively kill it, I haven't actually tested, but I've heard animals setting it off. Another thing, you can just set it on top and then you can have like a... Yeah, shoot that sheep. Shoot that sheep. Sheep, get back there. Ha! <laughs> kill the sheep. Or you can just have it, like, have a trail back here. And then... Let's get me a lever. And you get a lever. And, like, shoo. 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 Just, like, remote control type thing. And I kind of expanded on this thing I built in the first half. Just because I don't... I didn't think that the orig the way I originally had it demonstrated the use I was trying to demonstrate. My whole point is that with a single lever you can completely change the destination of the minecart. So, uh, oh, wow, awesome. Well, uh, here, let's can you get that stupid momentum thing going again because the stupid cart ran into my foot. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, I guess that third one was unnecessary, but Okay, so uh, you can have it say, uh, we can make it just do this one left loop here, like that, or we can have it do, uh, just keep going round, like this. Why? Oh, <laughs> there's two carts on top of each other, so it looks like they're in the same cart. Um, you can have it completely switch to this side loop if I can get there without a cart hitting me. There, and now it's going to be locked out of this loop type thing, and then we can close her up again. 
So you can do lots of crazy stuff with these. My uh, last thing I'm going to show you is I built this little demonstration house. So to open it, this is supposed to be an iron door, but I ran out of iron doors. You go in here. Then if you want to turn the lights on, whack. If only you could do this with real torches. That's the one thing I don't like is there should be a way to actually have like be able to uh, use redstone to trigger actual torches because these things don't work with shit for light. <laughs> Pardon my French. But um, yeah, there's just an like, endless amount of stuff you can do with all these things. So I just felt like demonstrating a few of these things. So uh, that's about it for this. See you guys later.